What's going on YouTube Snipes here with TKO Gaming here with the second part or the final boss full fight. This will show you exactly how you guys can beat it, exactly what we did, the best strategy for you guys. I really hope you guys can beat this, find your team, and just be positive and get through it. You guys can do it, all right? So anyways, here we go. Same mechanics as my last video. You want to split your team up into three, three teams of two, one in the left, one in the middle, one in the right. You're going to have to fight off these shanks. Then a captain comes out with a Scorch Cannon. Three people will become empowered on your team. The empowered people will need to then, later on I'll explain, you'll see in the video, they'll need to slam the back of the boss after you guys. So it's a little bit, it's a few steps here as you guys can see. So let me run through it. After you kill the captain, you're going to pick up the Scorch Cannon. It's going to be the same thing. It's going to be a Scorch, it's going to be an Arc Cannon, there's going to be a Void Cannon. You're going to pick up that cannon, you're going to go and kill your respective Servitor. It's, the Servitor is going to have the same uh, Arc, Void, Solar. Make sure you find the right one, right? There's going to be three people holding cannons, there's going to be three people that aren't going to be holding cannons, and then there's also going to be three people that are empowered. Now. After the Servitor dies, you're going to pick up that little bomb thing that drops out and you're going to throw it at the boss. Make sure you don't miss. Okay, you're going to hit the boss. After the third one hits, the boss is then going to teleport. There's four places the boss can teleport. You can actually see them uh, if you look on the ground, on the, on the the you'll see like some square platforms. Um, if you, so it's left teleport right teleport middle back teleport and middle front teleport so as you guys can see the boss um will teleport after so right now the boss just teleported i threw the last one and then the boss now is going is on the right so make sure you have one person that's empowered on each platform you need to have one person in the middle kind of in the middle between the middle back and middle front platforms so when the boss you know teleports you have very little time to get over there and just slam on the back of the boss that's the most important thing you got to slam on the back of the boss once you slam on the back of the boss that's when the boss's shields go away and everyone can do damage the most important thing that you guys need to know is those scorch cannons utilize them make sure that you shoot the boss and hold down the trigger all the way it does about 75 plus thousand uh, damage on the boss it's it really really racks up really well make sure you guys do that you're gonna do this about three to four waves and at the end it's gonna be the same thing as the taken king where the boss is gonna teleport back to its original platform and you have a, a very limited amount of time to just shoot the shit out of the boss and make sure it dies now make sure you guys are just staying positive and organized through all of this. If you die, it's okay. You guys are going to see us die so many times. So many of my teammates in this died, but we didn't lose hope. You're going to see some crazy things happen. Even at the end, we pretty much traded with the boss. We killed the boss and the boss killed us, but we still got the loot. So it was literally down to a hair split second. Now there is talks that there's a chest after that, kind of like a puzzle chest that you have to figure out and get. Um, but as you can see, we didn't get a chance to do that, but I will be making a video on exactly how you do that. So make sure you guys subscribe to this channel if you haven't. If you like this video, make sure you hit a like. It really helps out. I'm thinking we can get probably seven and a half likes, you know, just a half step higher than the other videos. Let's get seven and a half likes in this video. It'll definitely help out the channel and it'll definitely help out other people that are trying to find a good guide. If you guys do think this is a good guide on how to beat the boss. Now, a couple other things that you want to keep in mind is having a gallo horn is really good, but same thing as the last video I made, having a really like a raised lighter sword, um, that helps a lot for killing those captains. Now the captain will come out on the left, the captain will come out on the right, and the captain will come out in the middle. You want to make sure that you can kill those captains as soon as possible. And remember guys, when the balls come out, make sure that when you're, before you hit the last ball, make sure that your team is already in position, meaning empowered left, empowered middle, empowered right. Make sure you guys are scattered out and so that way when it does come time for the boss to teleport you guys aren't running around like headless chickens now keep in mind now the empowerment does change so that's the little twist that they put the empowerment changes so after you do it um it's some crazy shit you guys are gonna love it though also another thing is that um once you have the scorch cannon and you kill the servitor you cannot go and pick up the ball so that's when your teammate comes so it's very important for all teammates to be alive now the person that picks up the balls only 
he can go around and shoot all the balls himself at the boss but if you're ho holding a cannon you have a cooldown time afterwards now as you guys can see my screen is all empowered that pretty much means that i'll have to smack the bosses back the cool thing is that you guys are actually going to see me do all the roles and you guys can just like that's pretty much how everyone has to do it everyone in the team has to be a good diverse team they need to be able to do multiple roles and then when the bosses um in between lights uh when the bo after the three waves right you have three waves to kill the boss after that the boss does his little you know sends little red things at you you want to make sure that you go to the back platforms those floating back light platforms you can only use those platforms one at a time and once you use a platform you can't use it again indicating that you have to get this done in five waves but after at about the fourth wave the boss enrages so that's another thing you have to keep in mind anyways guys make sure you guys have fun um, this is a great raid. I can't wait for hard mode. GG's Bungie. Um, not my favorite raid out of all of them, but you guys can see we're on the platforms and stuff. Not my favorite raid out of all of them, uh, but it's definitely like viewed just the cinematography of this raid definitely really sticks out out of the other ones. And plus, I like the color red, as you guys can tell. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please do tune in for my other videos. I'm going to let the video run out so you guys can keep seeing the gameplay. Um, and yeah, make sure you check out the description below if you need help in anything Destiny related, whether it's quests, challenges, raids, trials of Osiris, whatever it is, we're here to help you guys out. Come join the TKO family as we grow it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.